Today is Sunday, it's the 14th of January 2024 and we've come down more or less to the southwest tip of Mallorca to San Telmo or San Telm and uh, well it's not a bad day actually the temperature's definitely gone up a few degrees um, there has been a little bit of sun out but there's quite a lot of cloud cover at the moment um, but it does feel quite pleasant the sea looks quite rough let's have a look well we did a, a walk in Costa de la Calma the other day and the uh, uh, the scenery there is spectacular, but I think it's uh, it's equally spectacular here. And uh, we usually start down there a little bit further down, but uh, we've started higher up today. And the sea does actually look really turbulent today. So it must be from the winds that we've had recently. That's the island over there, that's Dragonera. Use your imagination and that's the dragon's head. And the tail goes round beyond that headland. Uh, as you can see down below, the, the waves are crashing a little bit against the rocks. And as we came into San Telmo, we could look quite rough on the beach as well. As you can imagine at this time of the year it's fairly quiet and no problems parking at all uh, although there are two car parks as you enter and uh, the first one is a municipal car park which is free and that one is uh, and has been for the last few months under some renovations it's been uh, it looks as though there's a lot of work going on there and there's one next to it, which is a private car park, and you have to pay. And uh, that one was actually full of caravans and motorhomes, which uh, I'll talk about perhaps in a news item later on, maybe even later in this video. Now, if you walk down there, you can actually get down to sea level, but we'll, uh, we'll just go down by the restaurants now. Here's a, a nice little map just to show you what we can actually see there. And the, the far end, which <laughs> says you can see but you can't, is the, the lighthouse. That's beyond the headland over there. And then uh, the island is, uh, the main island over there is Dragonera. It's not inhabited, uh, no, no people live there, but you can go on there to date for day trips. At least in the summer you can. And there are some, uh, usually some scientists on there doing some work. San Telmo we thought might be closed, but no, you can see the restaurants open. And uh, we, as we drove through, there's quite a few people wandering around. feel quite very mild fresh fish on the menu yeah. all the tables set out at that one this one's closed and Uh, hard standing down there for some of the smaller boats. The other thing we noticed as we were driving from Saraco down to San Telmo to go up and over a hill, there was quite a lot of people uh, out for walks and hikes well we think, I thought there were going to be no people around there's obviously something happening down here that we didn't know about it is a Sunday 
cafe is open here. Busy, busy, busy. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can park on the side streets here. Hey, don't. Yes. So what we've got here is actually a book signing. It looks as though the locals have turned out in their hundreds. Well, it's lots of them. It's called the Demonis, is it the book? Let's see what the queue's like when we come back. This is finding out about the book. Well, he's just looking at getting one of those and then getting it signed. Is it the, the lady who wrote it? Is that yes, who it is? Yes. All right, she's there. This area. She's from here. And, yeah, she's from this area, so it's a little bit of a promotion for a local, which is a good thing to support. So, Anita might be popping in there and uh, getting one of these books. It will be uh, in Catalan. And uh, our two granddaughters on the island are Catalan speakers. And the sun's popping out of the shadows now. <laughs> we thought it was going to be a nice, quiet little stroll through here, wondering if there would be a bar open, and there's, there's several, so that's good. So we'll be able to get a coffee or something. We had something nice to eat at one of them, didn't we? I think we did. Just like these little alleyways that go down to the sea with a bench at the bottom just waiting for you to take a seat. I'm just getting to know the, the main beach now. see the waves surfing on you I think if it would probably be uh, in Pagera they'd be surfing it's waves like this would be quite good in Pagera I would have thought It look, 
good the oranges do on the table. Got your fresh orange juice here. the road takes you around the back of uh, San Telmo and we always drive around there and uh, we've never had a problem any time of the year in finding a parking space but uh, many people will just come to this car park this one is the paid car park and there's a chain across there today it's pretty full because they're full of camper vans Move the chain. So this, uh, the sign over there says Oasis, which is the association of caravanning. So it must be their day out. There's a really big problem with uh, caravans and camper vans on the island in that there are no places for them to go. Really, there's one or two on the whole island, and uh, you can see just by the number here that there, uh, there needs to be a lot more. So that's a paid car park in the summer, that's where lots of people will, will be parking. But right next to it, that entrance there, is for the municipal car park. And that one will be free. And at the moment, uh, it's just been uh, resurfaced. There's a lot of work been going on there over the past uh, few months. And I uh, guess they're aiming to get that finished when the, the summer starts. Beautiful in the sun. playing on the beach. Go around a little bit, see if we can get splashed. Step down onto the Beach. It's pebbly up here, but most of it is actually sand. And walk around a little bit.
into a tree here that's got uh, washed into a sea and then washed on shore. It's safer there than it is in the sea. It'd be a real hazard to shipping. Very rocky here. Another little bay with a small beach, lots of seaweed. I was watching a report on the uh, news this morning about seaweed and uh, vast amounts of it that are being washed ashore in some places and uh, different techniques of, of getting rid of it and uh, using it. And, um, one of them is to actually sink it to the bottom of the ocean and that way the carbon that's been captured in it gets stored away at the bottom of the ocean for years, hundreds of years maybe or more, the way of carbon capture. Where's that tree come from? I don't know, good question. It's not moving with the waves so it was a bigger storm than this that brought it up there. So uh, at normal times of the year this would have lots of sun umbrellas and the uh, hotel guests the sun umbrellas are just inside there would be able to use this with the uh, sun beds. sit and watch this Ooh, all day. Yeah, there's some big waves coming in there, some bigger waves, a big one coming there, look. Surfing waves these would be. Gone in the sea. Oh, I'm getting quickly. Oh, I'm getting. <laughs> well done.
no smoking on the beach, it says on the sign. That's something that has been mooted as being a, a rule generally, even throughout Spain. There are several beaches on the island that have been designated no smoking areas. And uh, I'll see if they do manage to extend that. Cafes, local cafes are busy. Still a big queue at the book signing, dear. We'll have a coffee and I'll go and get in the queue. <laughs> yep. in the sun? Yes, yeah, fine with me. I'll go and try and see what I can do. You just get a coffee for you at the moment. Well, Anissa's been shopping and she's got the book. It's all about for us. Isn't that nice? And it's all about Saint Elmo. Well, the sun's more than popping through and it is very, very warm sitting here. I've taken my jacket off and it feels like I should be taking my jumper off as well. Uh, we're just enjoying a coffee now. And we'll just finish off our little walk. Cheers, everyone. I think the lady who wrote the book is still getting uh, a few more to sign, so she's done very well, I think, today. 
These are the sorts of shops that Anita likes as well. She's already been in and bought a book. Miss that, darling. Oh, the noise. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm deaf. It is a really nice village to, to walk through this, is, and, uh, and it's just said it's really nice to come down here and just have a walk. And even at this time of the year. And uh, yeah, there's not everywhere open but there's plenty of places that you can go there's plenty of cafes plenty of bars so, it's one of the regulars for us there's another place up there to cocot cocot is it restaurant bar got tapas as well and a fireplace <laughs> in English and now as we uh, make our way back the restaurant starting to to fill up it's coming up to two o'clock in the afternoon as a direction you're going, isn't it? And it is very warm. Very, very warm. Beautiful Sunday afternoon. I just love these views. I could just sit looking at that all day, I think. Well, it's uh, a lovely little walk in uh, San Telmo, San Telm. Um, we finished that and we're going to go off now. So thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.